If you've tried to change or upgrade the memory on your Sony VGN T250, you've probably figured out by now that it isn't very intuitive. That there's no uh, access panel here on the back. And if you take the battery off, it looks like there's an access panel behind that, but it isn't. So, I finally figured out how to do it, and I'm going to go ahead and film it. Starts with taking out just these three screws. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to flip the machine over and pop two barely visible tabs and then lift the keyboard. That's how you get to the uh, compartment. And uh, it looks like the, the, the main memory, the 512 meg that it came with, is non-removable so nothing about it is intuitive but anyway I'll go ahead and take these screws out alright I had to get another pair of hands to hold the light so I can show you how hard it is to see these tabs there's one on the F5 key I don't know if you can see it I'm trying to get in there this little uh, tab that you gotta push the top of the F5 key and then there's another one over the numbers lock you see that one better with the angle it's right there okay so you, you push on those I have I have this screwdriver I've got a little micro driver which I'm going to use to pop that okay you heard that click and then, where's my other one at? Okay, now I'm going to lift the keyboard up. Try to gently lift the keyboard up here. And, there you go. That's where the new memory goes. And this one is in there. From what I understand it, it doesn't come out. It isn't supposed to come out. So I'm just adding 512 into this slot here. Alright, here's the uh, 512 meg micro dim. Stick it in. Make sure you got it going in the right way. Alright, push it in like that down, locks into place, and that should be it.